So, as I'm sure most of you are aware at this point, BMX Streets has had a trailer come out, and in that trailer it has mentioned the release date for BMX Streets. It is finally here at April 5th, so that's two weeks away from the time I'll be posting this video. And a bit like the old potato video I did before, I just wanted to go through the trailer in fine detail, I guess you can say, and kind of pick up a few things that I thought were interesting, and also show some other clips from the Discord server that MASH and other people have posted, which I think are interesting and may highlight some things that you may have missed yourself when you watch this. So uh, let's get into it. Now going through an order, the first thing is actually kind of an interesting trick which didn't really work very well in pipe, and that is grinding off something and then doing like a flip, like in this sort of way. Before it never really worked all that well. You could do it, but it was a little bit broken, but like this, just riding directly onto this edge, grinding up it, and then going down like this. It's something that's a little bit different. And potentially, because of the physics, you could do a grind back down this bit as well. So it maybe adds a few new interesting options, which weren't there before. So one of the first things I noticed when I actually saw this trailer was, and it actually kind of goes along with things I've seen up until this point as well, the map seems very kind of wide open. It almost reminds me of Skate 3 in a way, like stopping here, if you look at the bottom left of this map, presumably this is kind of the bit that connects all the city together, so it's not going to be all that detailed, I don't think. But if you look at the pavement, there's not really any objects there, there's no benches or other things like that. It's all fairly sparse. If you go along the road a little bit, it looks like there's like a plaza or a skate park or something there. And you keep going to the end and there's like a boat, and presumably a bunch of stuff over there. But I get the feeling everything in between may be a little bit sparse. It's not going to be like super dense all the way through. And all the clips I've seen up until this point have also shown that. That's not to say that's a bad thing or anything. Like Streets has been made by one person. You can't expect him to make a super dense, super detailed city all the way through. There's probably like compromises that have to be made. But say here, for example, like look how wide this road is. And as far as we know, there's no traffic. There's no pedestrians or anything like that. Look on the right side of the street. There's not really that many objects there. There's stuff on the left, which looks like stairs and a rail and things like that. But for the most part, I do get the feeling that there'll be kind of some open spaces with not that much going on. That's not necessarily a bad thing. And I'm not trying to like put the game down or anything, but maybe temper your expectations on it being like a fully like session style detail. Obviously skateboarding games are a bit denser in the first place, but yeah, maybe not quite as crowded in all areas as maybe you expect. Thinking about it, it may just be the way this scene has been taken. It's been done on kind of the longer straighter bits, but you do see how a lot of this is fairly simple looking. It does look like the connecting bits of the map to me. There's stuff on the right, but again, it's fairly sparse overall, I think. And again, that's not saying it's a good or a bad thing. It's just something I kind of noticed. Same with this bit as well. Looks like another connecting section. Forget it paused like here. You see like a big stair set in the background a little bit and some stuff on the left. Things on the right look fairly simple, but a lot of like long wide open roads from the looks of it. I guess to show my point a little bit, this was a picture that MASH posted, I guess it was quite a long time ago now. Like if you look on the left side, this is where that boat was that I showed before. The left side looks a little bit more dense, like there's lots of little boxes or like ledges and things like that. But then you look on the middle left side, it's fairly plain, there's not really a lot there. Again, this was like a work in progress, so we don't know for sure, but it does like this kind of like dense and non-dense areas. So this is another example, like if you look at this area, there's basically this rail in the middle. There's fence and maybe a ledge on the very right side, but all this stuff to the right of the rail is so open. Like it's fairly sparse looking overall, and it's reminding me a lot of Skate, especially Skate 3, because it kind of went really big and kind of huge scale with everything. So if we keep going, you just kind of... It would make lines a little bit tricky maybe because there's not a lot you can do in between unless it's like flat ground stuff. But again, again, this is kind of like an industrial area, so maybe that's just the expectation. It does make you think like, why is that rail there in terms of the world? But I guess that's maybe overthinking it a bit. And now to completely contradict myself, here's another, this is a fairly old clip, I think, showing off like a crank clip. I don't know if this park will be in the final game, but this looks like a lot denser. You can see all the stuff on the left is pretty, well, it looks like a, pretty good skate park. So I'm guessing that inside areas or more concentrated areas will look more like this and the stuff outside will be a bit more skate-like from the looks of it. And especially if you know me, I like doing a lot of tech things. So having 
a lot of dense obstacles and things like that in the game will be that's kind of my style so that's what I'm really looking for I think and again speaking of interesting areas which hasn't really like appeared since this got posted a few years ago it's like a gas station from what I can tell it's kind of a smaller little interesting area I presume it's out in the middle of nowhere or something but it kind of shows off what the game looks like at night and it's kind of an example of a more smaller area which say I could do a spot session video or something like that on so there are some interesting little areas out there I think so going back to the trailer again this is actually a pretty interesting thing you can put lights on the handlebars so presumably these are like dark parts of the map at night and then you can use that to illuminate yourself or maybe if you play multiplayer you could get somebody else to illuminate a spot which would make some interesting clips as well here's another thing like it looks like a pretty actually there's maybe a better shot of this later on but everything kind of seems very big in scale somehow like it's not dense looking right it's giving me kind of skate 3 vibes quite a lot and again i'm not saying that as a bad thing looking at this little bit as well this looks like a fun part of the map i think maybe more like a residential area or something like that and just in case you wanted a better look at some of the bikes there's not that much to say about them i'm not all that knowledgeable about like recent street frames or anything for the most part they all look the same to me i used to do flatland and a lot of flatland frames were very different from each other so you could tell them apart here not so much especially like two piece four piece bars and more obvious things like colors and things like that but you do notice these dirt tires as well if i can stop it on the right one this one yeah you can definitely see some dirt tires in there as well which is pretty interesting here's another shot of that kind of loading dock area this looks really fun it just looks like a set of Almost like dirt jumps, but in an urban area, which is pretty interesting. This was the better angle of the area I was talking about before. Like you can see, it's very wide open. Of course, there's that curbs and rails in between them. So for somebody like me, I'd actually probably get a lot of enjoyment out of trying different variations on that. I almost want to do a video that's like a spot session on a single curb, just because I think it'd be funny. But again, you kind of get a feeling of the scale being everything's huge, right? There's nothing really dense. It's not like New York City or something like that, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. But also notice the tweak here. Like it's tweaked a little bit to the right. When you used to pull up before, it was very straight. I don't know if that's maybe just a difference in the animation or if you can tweak those left and right a little bit when you're getting over rails, but it is kind of a nice addition. Again, this bit here is also giving me kind of huge dam kind of skate vibes a little bit. Nice looking natural grinds though, I think. I'm really looking forward to trying those out, seeing how the grinds have evolved. Two really interesting things about this little clip. One is these stalls. This was something that wasn't really possible before. If you use like the no bail mod, you could try and like brute force it a bit, but it never looked all that great. And it wasn't supposed to be there. Now it looks like these are pretty natural and they don't cause you to bail or do anything. So disasters, like whatever you can think of, that's gonna open up a whole load of new interesting tricks, I think. And the other thing is, mentioned about having the light on the bars before you actually get to see it rotate here like when he does the bar spin you see the light shining around the area so that's actually a cool little touch this part nothing too new to talk about the flips and flares and those sort of tricks are definitely improved in streets so like doing those sort of tricks out of wall rides will be a lot easier and in terms of the map, or this part of the map, how it looks, looks like it's along another main road. It's like a little gutter type of area or something. Actually, is that maybe the petrol station or the gas station just at the like top in the distance? You see like a little roof thing. I wonder if that's what it is. But yeah, like looking this way, it's fairly like open right on the left side. It would be nice to have just like benches or little things here and there, but I don't know, that's just me. So this is another big thing about the game. Bike customization. There's over a thousand parts. I don't know how it's spread out between everything, but it definitely looks like most things you could think of in terms of street setups are there. It does make me curious if there is something Flatland related or something a little bit unusual that you don't see anywhere else. Also note uh, the left tire. 
It's a dirt tire. You can also have different tires on front and back as well, which is pretty nice. Also like rusted or beat up parts. I guess they're like a default skin. You can't actually beat them up yourself, but it does make you wonder in terms of like color schemes and things like that. Could you color this yourself or is it like a fixed color? And same with the other things that are actually like branded parts. Is it only the standard colors that it's available in or could you customize them? Another minor addition. This seat looks a little worn out as well. I wonder if you could add wear manually or something like that. That would kind of be an interesting addition. We get to see that cool gold bike or is it copper gold? I guess gold. Get to see the balance on toothpick grinds, which was really nice. It looks really natural. We also get to see another kind of big, huge plaza. There's a lot of these in the game from the looks of it. Like a thing across the water as well, which looks pretty interesting. Actually, looking in the background, there's the boat. So I guess this is kind of the dock area of the map. This bit is giving me like Tony Hawk Dam vibes. Like a huge kind of one way course down some kind of like industrial thing in the middle of the mountains or something like that. Looking at this, like there could be some interesting things you could do on those pipes and kind of different angles and things. It's mostly fairly straightforward looking, but especially if you like going big and going fast, this seems like the type of thing that would appeal to you. And again, it's giving me skate vibes a little bit. Another huge wide open plaza. You can see just at the bottom of this big rail, there's like little rails kind of here and there in the middle but again it's also like wide open why is it so wide open i wonder it is kind of an interesting decision to do this maybe it's to help with multiplayer and things like that so everybody's got space to move around a little bit also one interesting thing to notice is you see those rails that are on the left i'm not sure if it's an exact match but mash posted quite a long time ago like a challenge to do this rail ride on a curved rail and it looks like it could be somewhere around here i'll try and find the clue there we go, I found it. He basically posted it in Discord saying he'd give $5 to anybody who managed to rail ride the whole thing. And it's given you that kind of like curved up and down thing which matches that area, maybe. It could be somewhere completely different, but still. Especially if you know me, having these kind of really long, challenging rail rides to do is gonna, yeah, that's gonna give me some fun for quite a long time, I think. So if we pause just on this bit, this is like a little rooftop which looks like its own skate park. And it's also like, the type of thing I like. There's kind of a lot of levels to it. It's fairly dense looking. So I'd imagine you'd be able to get some really good like combos and longer lines on something like this. And I'm also curious what's in the middle of the building. If this is just the top, I wonder if there's stuff inside it as well. This may be one of those more focused areas. And again, you can also see the boat in the background as well. So you kind of get a feeling for the layout a little bit. And also notice on the right, the street outside, again, is fairly simple looking. So most of the street type stuff outside in between stuff is probably gonna be fairly basic. Similar thing here, you look at the bottom, fairly simple, but then there's like an actual park and like a snake run, like a really deep snake run thing going in the middle and then a stadium. I think that's been in like images and things quite a bit before, so I'm interested in that area as well. Again, we're going really deep into picking into little things here and there, but this area looks really interesting as well. It's kind of, again, I'm always getting skate vibes from this, but there's some little interesting things to note. There's all that scaffolding on the right with steps, so presumably you can get to the top of that and maybe get on the rooftops, which would lead to a bunch of other crazy stuff which you could probably do down into here. There's also little inside areas, you know, next to the T. I'll try and zoom in on it, actually. There's like a little inside bit next to the stairs, which suggests maybe indoor stuff as well here and there. And also that abandoned building on the right, that looks like it's hollow, so there may be stuff inside there as well. Now, this will be a really big thing for the community, and that is multiplayer, and also it's not specifically talked about on the uh, Steam page, but something that came up in the Discord is MASH has actually mentioned this will be 8-player, not 4-player. But there's a chance it could get cut down depending on, I guess, how the servers work or if it ends up being buggy or something like that. So for the trailer, I guess they've gone with 4 because that's stable. But potentially, we could be doing it with 8 people, which when you think of like things like this, bombing down hills, doing stuff at skate parks, the more people, the better. So hopefully that works out, but again, it's not guaranteed and it was brought up by Mash himself in the Discord. We'll see how that turns out, but it would be interesting if we could get that many people during races and all sorts of weird stuff. And also you'll notice, I think it's the next clip, collision is a thing between people, so I'm sure that's gonna lead to chaos. 
in a good way. Also, of course, there's the potential of everybody doing really long lines together. And there's one thing which I thought was interesting. We've kind of seen it before, but this guy who's second, who's doing a smith, I think, he kind of loses balance or he isn't locked in properly and he goes down into a crooked there, which is another thing of having the kind of natural physics when it comes to grind. It allows you to intentionally or unintentionally, you maybe see it here as well, yeah, he falls down. Having those sort of tricks and the ability for it to go wrong or just be modified in tons of different ways will be really interesting. So one of the biggest discoveries in this trailer is this thing. It's like a, what would you call it? A drift trike or something like that? A non-BMX thing, which the inclusion of that is something kind of huge, honestly. And also the fact that you can do these kind of like crazy tricks together, like hop over each other or whatever you can think of. And it kind of leads to the question of, aside from this track, what else is there? Because Mash has teased other stuff before, or he's testing stuff in the engine, so I'm really curious to see what else is in there. And I'll actually show you some clips of old or other things if I can find them, which I'm hoping are still in there. Also, did you notice that guy stood on the roof? It's kind of ominous. So this is a really random clip from kind of a long time ago, but Mash uploaded this of like a dirt bike being ridden around that test map that the old potato was showing off before in a preview. Having this, we don't know if it's in the game or not still, but say if we had multiplayer and a bunch of people riding these, you could essentially go around the whole city doing this, all these kind of tricks or whatever you can think of. And in that sense, like having the bigger, wider map would actually benefit stuff like this. So depending on where they go with it, there's a ton of potential for other non-BMX stuff and just the ability to kind of screw around and do other things. There's so much potential with all of this stuff, so I'm really curious if this is still in there. Some other things that I've seen as clips which are worth mentioning is, this is actually a Skater XL map. I think it's the Tampa map, or it's a version of a, the Tampa park, but it's been converted to streets. And apparently the process was very easy. Mash did it himself, like in not a lot of time. So essentially all those kind of like smaller, more detailed, really kind of dense, interesting Skater XL maps could potentially get ported over if the developers or the people that make the maps actually put in the effort to convert them. But from what Mash said, it's actually fairly simple. So hopefully there's like a huge number of maps we'll have access to within a short space of time. So if you're like me and you're thinking the map's very open and sparse, well, with modern maps, that's going to kind of deal with it for you. Another thing of note, he also posted a first person video. We didn't really see much of first person at all, I don't think, until recently he kind of posted this video, which shows it's in there. Presumably it's in the full game as well if he's showing it off at this later stage, but I would kind of like the view to be a little further back. It could be a bit nauseating, I think. There is one of the views on pipe which are kind of far away, so having it like that would be ideal, I think. But still, it's in there, and it's a nice thing to have because it just changes the way you play the game completely. Speaking of tricks, there was this foot jam video from maybe three or four years ago at this point. We haven't seen foot jams since. I am very curious if they're there because I would really love to have them in, but I guess we'll have to wait and see on this one. Hopefully. Another one is also foot plants. It does make you wonder like if there's different variations of this. This is also super old, so like three or four years ago. We don't know if it's still in the game, but I hope it is, just as like a another option to do a bunch of cool kind of little tech tricks and things like that. This would be really nice to have, I think. One other one is what would you call this? Is it like a Vader jam or something like that? Like using that as another stall trick is also really interesting to have. Having a bunch of different options for the way you can do those like foot jam stall tricks would also be really interesting. It also, maybe it's because it was an early animation, it does look like his foot's going over the bar, it's like a candy bar foot jam or whatever you'd call it, but I guess not. Last off I will end with a clip that MASH posted today as of the time I make and release this video. This was something after the trailer was released. It's just MASH kind of Showing off a few like disaster tricks, just the way the physics work with these. It looks really clean, 
It doesn't like that that sketch stalls as well, like going from stall to stall, going out of a quarter, landing in a stall, disaster, you name it. All of that stuff seems to work really well. Getting in and out of like half pipes, quarters, whatever, also seems like it's a pretty smooth process. The whole thing is just the flow, I think. It just seems really flowy. It's not like jank animation, there's no magnets or anything, and I think that's going to be a huge thing for just making parts, taking videos, things like that. It's just going to look really good. So I'm really excited to kind of dig into all of this stuff. So yeah, that is it. Sorry, I probably rambled a lot and kind of showed a lot of weird clips and went into the weeds on a bunch of stuff, but I've been following the game for years and it's just nice to know that we're actually there. We're two weeks away and we're finally at a point where we'll be able to play it for ourselves and I really can't wait. And if you know me and you know my channel, well, I spent a lot of time playing pipe so you know i'm gonna go in super deep on this stuff get as tech as possible figure out all the weird physics quirks and show it to you and yeah do a bunch of spot sessions on the main map you name it it's gonna be good times so uh do stick around and when the game's released i will be doing a ton of videos probably a video a day for the first week so look forward to that and otherwise that's about it i think so please like subscribe all the other stuff and i will see you next time